over Mark, though. Money, man. Fuck them stitching bitches, man. I'm trying to get paid. Lay in the shade, getting hit by your dame, by the bay. Use a lame motherfucker. I'm in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a hip hop thing, man. You know what I'm saying? How long you been rapping? I was about 10 years old, you know what I'm saying? Right now, man. It was just some old DJ. Used to be with DJ Quick and all that. Phone and cool. I can do that. Uh, genre, you know what I'm saying? I'm more of a rap. You know, a list. Hip hop was real. Like somebody that's a rapper. Twist my fingers, I'm player till I die. Ducking laws when I rap. License is suspended cause of unpaid fines. I'ma tow my fire, I'ma blow my herb. Chopping trailer part, how this man fuck what you heard. I'ma play it till I die. Yeah, you know who it is, man. Coca Cola. But I'ma play it till I die. Yeah, yeah. And I'ma play it till I die. And I'ma play it till I die. Fly Society TV, man. We in the building with my brother Coca. Y'all the big Coca, man. Let let the world know, man. Tell you what's up to the world. What up, y'all? This is Coca Calo. You know, representing the foe. Okay, out of Foley. Yeah. Okay, Foley, Alabama. That's what I'm talking about, man. So, uh, let the people know who is Coca, man. You know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know, who is Coca? What is your music like? What's the genre of your music? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Coca's me, man. You know what I'm saying? Coca means kiss old Carson's ass. You know what I'm saying? Carson's my real name. Okay, hold on. Say that again. What Coca means? Kiss old Carson's ass. Or okay. Calo, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was actually my dad's nickname. Okay. Yeah, so I just kind of inherited it. I could dig that. I could dig that. So that's where the coca come from. Yeah. I thought it was just from whipping. No. In the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? I said, shit, he just fucking whipping. Yeah. And that's what's up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, people on it right now. But, uh, how you fall in this hip hop thing, man? You know what I'm saying? How long you been, how long you been rapping? Shit, I've been rapping since I was about 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? Writing. And, uh, back then, you know, I had like a, uh, DJ Magic Mike instrumental. Okay. You know what I'm and DJ Magic Mike was somebody that was popping out here? No, man. It was just some old DJ used to be with DJ Quick and all them. You know, oh, okay. One. And uh, anyways, they had an instrumental on there on the CD. And I had one of them uh, CD tape decks. You know what I'm saying? So I plugged my little headphones in the mic jack. And okay. I used one side of the headphone to record. I could do that. That's old school right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's real hip hop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That take it back. That take it back right there, man. So you a real hip hop head then? Oh yeah. yeah. So what do you, what do you feel about the state of hip hop right now? Like as far as today's into like today's day and age, how do you feel hip hop is? Do you like the where it's at, or no. you know, do you feel it it's fell off and it it then got kind of fucked up, you yeah. know, and, during the years? Yeah, it's all show. You know what I'm saying? This this song, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of my influences was you know uh, UGK. Scarface, Zero, A-Ball, MJG. That's like H-Town, like, that's soul right there. Yeah. I ain't lying, that's soul right there. You know, the real South, you know what I'm saying, Goody Mob, Outkast, all that. That was the, that was the, like, the real lyricists of what you do. Who you just named was real lyricists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's situation rapper. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what I am. Exactly, you know? that's what I'm talking about. That's what that's, that's what, what hip hop is. You know what that's what I'm talking about. And really I don't fall into the hip hop genre, you know. I'm I'm more rap, you know, a lyricist. Okay. You know? But then you know, that's what that you know, hip hop well, kinda so well lyricist. Hip hop was real lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like back in the days when people was beating on tables and run DMC and you know what I'm saying. Word. So, you know, it was it it all derives from being lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as, as like, saying, I'm not a rapper, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm a real lyricist. Yeah. That's the difference. Like, I say somebody that's a rapper is, like, Young Thug or somebody, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, not even trying to hear. He, he make dope songs, but he, yeah. you know, as far as a rapper, he make, you know, he's a rapper. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But lyricists, lyrically, yeah, a lot of people, you know, yeah. yeah. You know, oh, I was just throwing that up. Cash, you know what I'm saying? All them punchline rappers, you know, yeah, Lil Wayne. Exactly. Now everybody be jumping on his dick and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with him. 
I fought with him back in the day when he was. That's what I was know, about to say. Back, too. back when he was with Hot Boys and stuff like that, he was a situation rapper back then. Exactly. Now he's just a punchline rapper. Yeah, I you think know? he gonna try to. I've been, I've been trying to keep up with it since the little, since the um, the Birdman shit yeah. and all that. So, you know, I think he gonna try to go back to the old school Holly Grove, but. That's here and over there, y'all. You know I'm saying that wow. ain't really you tripping. Know, let Let's speak on this. Uh, the real shit, man. How you lose your finger, man? Man, I was shot. Oh, so you got shot? Yeah. Two thousand seven, February eleven. Ten days before my twenty first birthday. So that's what happened with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shit, I thought that yeah, was and it's it's eight. Eight finger lingo. You know okay, what I'm yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was shot too. I got shot seven times. Yeah, at a McDonald's over, on Crenshaw Boulevard in Los Angeles. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got shot seven times, so I know I know the feeling. I just ain't really lose nothing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, man, that's living it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? More and see, you know, of all the dirt that I done did, you know what I'm saying? Being out in the streets and and uh, doing a lot of shit that I wasn't supposed to do. And you know, having a lot of things I wasn't supposed to have, you know, I ain't got no gangster ass story, I ain't finna fabricate nothing or no, you know, keep it fucking some fake ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's supposed to. It, all it was, you know what I'm saying, it was an altercation, my mom's boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, he was fucked up on meth, you know, oh, and okay. uh, he clicked out one day, you know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so that's what happened. That was a real fucking situation. No <laughs> barrel, twenty gauge, point blank. Ah, damn, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, my shit was some old hood shit, but that yeah. was crazy though. My yeah, shit. I mean, I ain't got no gangster ass story. I can't sit here and, and be like Lil Wayne and be like, you know, that fool oh, shot himself, right? <laughs> that's yeah. it. Oh, when I all oh, getting shot, you know, fuck that shit, man. Yeah, you that shit ain't board, fly at the like, same what, time. Nine? That's yeah. real. That shit ain't flying. Man. When I got shot a thousand, dead, nigga. Yeah. Never wish that on nobody. You know what I mean? Well, that, that, that wasn't. wasn't off, you know? Yeah, that wasn't cool, man. But shit, I, damn. I would have never thought about that. That's why Fly Society bring that out of you know Thanks. people be wanting to know, yeah. and they probably just don't speak on it. Like I wonder how. Yeah. You know. I feel it. Yeah. It's all good, man. Hey, yeah. I was looking at uh. Yeah. You know, I always be checking up on you. You know what I mean? I check up on a lot of people. Yeah. I was looking at uh, Play It Till I Die yeah. on Coast to Coast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was just checking up on you. I didn't even know, for real, for real, I didn't know they could have videos and stuff up on there. I thought it was just music. Yeah. So when I actually went in there and seen it, you know what I'm saying? I was looking at it and shit. What's up with Coast to Coast? Like, is they like, I see everybody be like competing yeah. for something. What everybody competing for? Uh, a place on the mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, you know, from what I've read up on it, uh, they have like five submissions, you know, and if you were runner up on the submissions, they'll put you on the tape. Like they just had me okay. on on uh I think it was Play It Till I Die. Okay. That one. I wasn't one of the five submissions that they picked, you know what I'm saying? But I came up on the uh runner up. So they put it like where I could uh I could buy hundred and fifty dollars for a place, a guaranteed spot on the young Dolph mixtape. Okay. You know what I'm okay. talking about? He okay. hosted. And, uh, yeah, so I guess I'm going to do so that's that. that's what that is. That's yeah. what that is. It's like promotion type shit. Yeah, like but I mean, you know, it goes, yeah, it goes off your uh, boat shares, you know what I'm saying, lights. Um, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, because okay. I seen your partner on there, Screw Loose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seen him on there, too, you know what I'm saying? So I guess he out there, he doing this thing on yeah. there, too. Shout out to Screw. Yeah, Screw, that's my brother. You know yeah. he did his thing over here, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh... On some other shit, man, do you think it's harder being a white MC? You know what I'm saying? Or do you think your music is just so real that it really don't matter? Motherfuckers gonna gravitate towards you regardless. Fuck what they talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, kind of what I, it I is. I keep my goddamn music real, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker can respect it. You know? I like your music, bro. I mean, I you know what I mean? That, For real, I, I like your music. You know, I, I, I try to keep it real, man, and you know, keep it as, as real as possible. You know, I'm not... Talking about all this shit that I ain't done, yeah, or I ain't doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, I could dig that. I, mean, I could dig that. It is like a uh, purple thing. Yeah, I was listening to that this morning. Oh, Ricky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with Ricky yeah. Fontaine. Shout out to that yeah, boy shout too. Because to I'm gonna be working with my brother. And if he see this, I know you're gonna see this. He need to get over here. Yeah. And get that Lord interview know, in, man. Y'all know what I mean? Fly Society, you know, we on the scene. Yeah. But yeah, man, I, that that purple thing, man, y'all saying? I like that's like that Ace Town shit that you yeah. was talking about, y'all you know what I mean? Yeah. I like that whole get in. Like I said, this is a lot of my influences come from, 
you know, southern rap, real southern rap, you know. Okay. And, you know, I, I mean, I fuck with Biggie, you know. Damn, Biggie, yeah. Biggie was a fucking lyricist, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So, Everybody got to fuck with Biggie. That yeah. was like... <laughs> My bad, I'm over here on some ho other shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I always be smoking, I can't stop smoking. But, you know, Biggie was one of the best lyricists. You know what I'm saying? I mean, out of Biggie and Pac, I wouldn't know who to give it to. And that's what it is, man. I yeah. see you got I see you got your your, your pit bull up in the studio, yeah, man. That's you know Ocho. what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, man. Ocho. Yo, yeah, yeah, man. You feel me? You got your little American killer. Mix, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking yeah. about. So, old screw, screw, uh, hook me up with the chick that had him. You know, so. Okay, how old is he? Uh, seven weeks. Seven weeks. So you fuck with them dogs, huh? Oh yeah. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He's the first kid I got home. You know what I'm saying? The last one that I had was a little Gator. Gator. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know that motherfucker pretty. I know that. But um back to the uh the real shit, man. Let's talk eight eight finger lingo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where where that's at, man? Where is that? Where can people get that at, man? Or where can man, people hear that at? You can hit me on my phone, you know what I'm saying? Inbox me on uh on Facebook, uh, you know, send me a message through Reverb Nation. You know what I'm saying? I'm on Reverb Nation, Coca Calo. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You can hit me on Facebook on my artist page. You know, uh, Facebook.com uh, forward slash Coca Calo 360. Okay, okay. And, uh, the same on my uh, SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? So you are, so it's everywhere. Yeah. All they got to do is type in your name and, and, yeah, and it's going to pop up. There's only a, a one song on that that ain't been released. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I ain't released is because of some legal purposes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got going on, bro. Okay. You know I, mean? I can't let the man fuck him. Yeah, I could dig <laughs> that. I could dig that yeah. shit. I, that man, I fuck tell you. Fuck the police. Yeah, hello, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> rocking with that. I'm, the I man, I'm behind you, watching. brother. I ain't not. Fuck so, it. man, for the people that don't know, I'm I'm, I'm real, so I'm yeah. going to speak on it. I'm right in the room with my brother. Y'all probably don't see. He got a anklet bracelet on. I've been on house arrest. I got shot on house arrest when yeah. we were just speaking about how I got shot. Yeah. I was on house arrest when I got shot. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you fresh out. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, since November last year. You know, oh, so you been out for about six months, then like six months? Uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. So, shit, uh, yeah. what's, what, uh, the, the, the jail situations up in there, man, do they be having motherfuckers working in fields out here? They did, yeah. They um, no, for real. I did yeah, for back, real. Back in the day, you know, they did, you know what I'm saying? They had the farm squad, and it was mandatory for you to go out. And if you didn't go out, you was on the hitching post and shit. You feel me? I That's mean, about the crazy. You know, I just got out of jail, uh, in uh, in Baldwin County in November. You feel me? Okay. And uh, anyways, I got out of prison in 2012. You know what I'm saying? I U S no. 2012. You feel me? I did 47 months on my on my bed. You know what what you, do you want to speak on while you was up in there? Just some dope. You know what I'm saying? Probably oh, okay. Charge, Good man. shit. You feel me? Okay. So a dope charge. Yeah. Caught that deal. Stole 47 shit. months. 47 months. That's like three and a half years, nigga. Yeah. No. Yeah, 47 it's, months. It's 12, one month. 24, 30. It's one month from four. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I got fucked out of my uh time on that way, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't know that you could file for your shit and then get it, you know, ran in and get credit for it. You're like getting time. it ran concurrent or something like that? Yeah, you can't, you county time, yeah. Oh, okay. You feel me? I county didn't file time. for that shit, you know So what, what they hit you with, like 85% or something? No, man, I just kept getting this and this, fighting and shit. Oh, you know what I'm Oh, okay. jumped on the police while I was up there. <laughs> <Fuck> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you a wild boy, man. Yeah. That's real. That's what I'm talking about, man. You feel me? Shit, uh, anything you want to speak on, man? You know what I'm saying? Why you got the, you know, why you got the floor? Y'all done made any projects you want to speak on? Any concerts that's coming up? I seen y'all did something in, uh, Orange Beach, I think, or where was it at? Oh, sure. Lost Beach, boom. Real. Yeah, that was like a fucking spur of the moment thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Screw called me up, man. Uh, it was my first time ever doing, you know, uh, a little stage performance anyway. You know what I'm saying? The only live performances I've done 
was in the joint or up in the county, you know, uh, my beat yeah. on fucking metal racks and shit. Yeah, you know exactly. Me? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. You and know. where people want you to like rap every yeah, night, all the like, time. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, like, yeah, rap that shit. That shit got old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had I white boy swag, motherfucking player till I die bumping up in that bitch. Yeah. yeah. So did you had did you record that before you went in or no. after you went in? I after I came you, out. I mean, yeah, after you yeah, came, out, after that, came out. So you had already wrote that. Yeah. Up in, the, up in there, and they had already been hearing that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Some of them, uh, like, a couple tracks on that was all from uh, when I wrote it when I was in jail, but a lot of it's from, you know what I'm saying, uh, since I've been out. Okay, you know. okay. I kind of wrote a little bit, you know what I'm saying, when I did a, a few bids. I done, you know, I done been in and out of that thing, but yeah. how was your inspiration in that thing? Like, I'm, I'm kind of like Pac when it came to that. Like, a lot of people thought when I went and when I came out, I was going to have like two albums, three albums. <clears throat> and I yeah. didn't. I had like four songs. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Was you inspired enough while you was up in there to write? In the joint? No, man. In the joint, like, I wrote about six songs and all that was when I was in lock up for jumping on the police and fighting you know yeah. what I'm talking about they probably so, was talking about they dog ass yeah that's real <laughs> yeah yeah you know I, and I'm, I'm gonna end up releasing those songs man but you know here on this next tape right here I just got my graphics done you know what I'm saying um partner uh, Matt Conley from Tennessee Jelly Rolls people man he did my fucking uh my graphics man shout out to him okay you know okay you know? and okay if we can get at least two or three of the names of the songs that you wrote while you was in lockup so when they drop people gonna know like I heard that I yeah, know where you wrote I that a, at. I got Pimpin', um, Out of Control, let's see, uh, I Wonder. Okay, yeah. okay, that's what I'm talking about. So when y'all hear that, you know what I'm saying, y'all know where he wrote that at, y'all know where the inspiration came from that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, that just wasn't no bullshit. Nigga, I was locked down, motherfucker. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's see, what's up. On this uh, eight finger lingo, though, you know what I'm saying? I just had released it. I'm burning CDs, giving them out, man. But I'm finna get my shit pressed and you know, give me some more uh, CD cases. I'm not sure which one I want to do. If I want to do the CD cases or if I want to do the the sleeves, you know what I'm saying? The little yeah. cardboard sleeves. I can't remember what they call them. This is what yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <clears throat> I mean, as you go, are you like? How do you feel on getting signed? Like, do you feel like? about good would you how do you feel on your independence and about getting signed I'm you cool feel with it. you know what I'm saying I'm cool with uh because the thing is I know everybody won't I know I mean for real like me too I push independence to yeah. the, to the max yeah. but I would also take some money Okay. And, and, but I'ma still take my squad too. Like yeah. for real, I take some money for three years. It, that's just smart. That's business. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so is you in the same deal, or would you just push yourself until that shit catch a fire and y'all gotta come spend y'all money with me regardless? Cause my yeah. music done caught a fire. Yeah, or no, you know I had uh, I got some people looking at me, you know, uh, from California and shit. Okay. You know, they got in touch with me. Okay, you know, out my saying? way. Put yeah, put me in touch with another cat. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what it is, uh, Timberland is looking for five white dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But see, I felt like the cat was fucking playing me. You know what I'm saying? Trying to extort me out of some money or something. I felt like he was trying to play me, bro. No, so he was asking for ain't. money or something before. Yeah, like, bro, you know what I, ain't, I ain't with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. That shit. You gotta be on the lookout for that. Yeah. But I missed the opportunity, yeah. and I'm not lying. Shout out to my brother West Coast Stone. I'ma send you this interview because I missed the in I missed the opportunity. My brother he hit me like, man, the the what's the name is like a certain amount of dollars, you know what I'm saying? I'ma send you the song. Mm -hmm. You get on the song, boom, you're gonna be on uh Salute the West Coast. No, it too. wasn't nothing like that, bro. But he he told me and then I'm like, eh, yeah, you know what I'm know. saying? But then I, I typed the shit in and the yeah. shit is everywhere being sold. I'm like, oh I missed the opportunity. Yeah. But how was your situation, though? It, was, it wasn't even like that, bro. It wasn't like I was going to be fucking featuring on nothing, you know what I'm saying? Dude, you know, pissed it as I was going to be fucking paying for, uh, for you know, artist development and all this shit. You know That's what I'm saying? Like, you're going to work on my bio and shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey. Man, look, hey, you know what? Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean. I'm saying? If it, I know if y'all are looking, if my music's making that much waves out there, I know y'all going to come at me if y'all want me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. For real, for real.
I shouldn't have to pay for no artist development, I know that. No, I feel like, I feel One man in a sword, you know what I'm saying? I'm on, I'm on a mission, you know what I'm saying? That. And I've been on this mission by myself, I've had people come and go. People leave, people come, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing their own thing, everybody's networking, doing different music with different people down there, man. It's a beautiful thing.